Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I like to make a uh, blueberry almond buckle. This is similar to a coffee cake, but it has blueberries in it, hence the buckle. So, first things first, this is how we do it. Now this recipe is going to make an 8x8 pan. If you want to make a larger pan, go ahead and double it. That is absolutely fine. I've done that myself. Um, we're going to take a quarter cup of room temperature butter, so it's a little bit softened. Uh, you definitely don't want it melted, just room temperature is fine. Anything more than that, and it's going to go different. To this, we're going to have three fourths cup sugar and cream those together. Once those are incorporated, we're going to add one egg to this. We're going to mix that in. For our dry ingredients, what we're going to do is we have one and a half cups flour, and we are going to add a half teaspoon salt, two teaspoons of baking powder. Gonna mix it together a little bit so that we don't have any weird clumps. Alright, that's pretty good. I've got some almond extract. We're going to add a teaspoon to our egg mixture. Looks good. Give that a quick turn. All right, oh, it smells so good. All right, we're gonna alternate. I've got a half a cup of milk here, whole milk, and I've got my flour mixture. We're gonna alternate adding back and forth to get the desired result. Now, this part, you're gonna to wanna to do it with a silicone spatula just so you can wipe down the edges and so that you don't over mix this. Now that that's all mixed in, we're gonna add our blueberries. I have about a, um, probably a cup and a half to two cups of frozen blueberries. You can use fresh if you'd like. If they are frozen, do not thaw them out. And we're just gonna fold these all in. Okay, now that those are there, I have an eight by eight pan I'm going to generously spray down with my oil. And then I'm just gonna give it a light dusting with some flour. Okay. Okay. All right, into the pan we go. Oh, this feels so frozen now. Hurry, get in there. Since this is frozen just a little bit with those berries, I've sprayed my hands down with some oil and uh, we're just gonna lightly pat them to the side. Just 
just kind of get them in there. Now we're gonna make our streusel topping. And to do that, I have a half a cup of sugar, I have one third cup of flour, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, Give that a quick mix. Now we're gonna add, I have a quarter cup of very cold butter. I've cut this already, just to see, in little chunks. Makes it easier to cut in. When we cut in, you can use your uh, a pastry uh, blender if you have one of those. I don't have one at the moment, so I'm gonna try and see if I can separate these since they have solidified back together. There we go. a little bit too cold still, so I'm gonna break them up a little further with my fingers. If you can do this quickly and your butter's cold enough, you can do this by hand, like I'm doing it here. If your house is too warm or humid um, and it's melting too fast, go ahead and use your, your forks or your pastry blender. Like I said, mine's just a little too cold for this, so I'm gonna work it really quick. If I get it down to where it's starting to be a little bit more palatable, I can go back to using my forks, but you, the key here is to not get it to melt, so judge, judge with your conditions on how you wanna proceed by that. And the reason we're doing it like this is because we do want little little tiny chunks of butter, but we don't want like these kinds of chunks of butter. Ideally, we are going for the size no larger than a pea. We've got a couple that don't want to cooperate in there, but. Sometimes it's fun to be able to play with your food. Alrighty. Big ones, yeah, just a couple more. A couple more hiding in there. All right. Okay, that should do it. And now, we're just gonna layer it over the top. This will bake up around it, and it's just going to be slices of heaven. It's so good. Okay. Into an oven at 375 degrees. We are going to bake this boy for about 40 minutes. All right, our alarm just went off. We are going to get this blueberry buckle out of the oven. That smells amazing, it looks amazing. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit, then we're gonna dig in. Be right back. Our blueberry buckle has finally cooled down enough for us to dig in. 
So we're gonna try it. All right, loosen up the edges just to make sure that they don't stick. Okay, here we go. that out. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. That is just, okay, I have to tell you, that is just so light and fluffy. I can't even wait this. Here we go. <laughs> That's happy food. That is happy food. Mm. This would be great for, for breakfast or coffee or a snack or whatever you want. Ma'am. Enough talk. I'm going to eat. <laughs>